start off with, I think that this year's theme is really a great one because almost anyone worth studying in history falls into this category of someone who took a stand and then ultimately the study of history is the study of human choices that relatively ordinary people have made and the really relevant ones and the people we're studying uh, have made difficult choices that you know um, really shaped the world that we live in today so uh, a number of characters came to mind for me and I had a hard time picking um, one that was perhaps the most obvious to me was Chief Niwat who his legacy is really profound in the Boulder area as a peace chief and I think uh, his legacy around the country as well um, as one of the really prominent peace chiefs who dedicated his life to trying to maintain positive relationships between settlers and the Arapaho um, and essentially gave his life for that cause. Um, another one who came to mind I think is much lesser known is Josephine Roche, who in the 1930s, she became the first uh, female owner of a, a major coal mine. And, uh, but that's really not her legacy. Uh, she dedicated herself to workers' causes and children's causes, and she actually uh, willingly uh, unionized her mines at a time when most, um, the, the vast majority of mine owners were attempting to disenfranchise uh, unions and, and mine workers in general. Um, and the other one who came to mind was Clea Lororix for me, and she, I think, is a really unsung hero in LGBT rights, and a lot of people don't realize uh, what an impact Boulder itself has had on the legacy of LGBT rights in the country, and, and so she was the, the first county clerk in the whole nation in 1975 to issue a gay marriage license. And this was something that she hadn't really thought through. It was, it was really a cause that found her, which I think in a lot of history tends to be the case, right? Uh, she had never met a gay person before, and so when this couple came in and asked for a gay marriage license, they, she just read the law, and she said, yeah, there's really no reason that I can't issue this. But then the, the backlash from that was pretty astonishing, um, and the threats and the, the way that people treated her as a result nationwide, not just around here, um, was really horrific and then she realized that what how important it was to have a strong ally for the LGBT community and, and that many of them have to deal with that sort of treatment on a regular basis. So that's my, um, I think that third one would probably be my pick. <laughs> offer costume rentals so we have a collection of historic costumes in a variety of sizes and you can come here and pick out something that uh, fits your time period for performances and uh, and then we also offer exhibit consultations free in classrooms so if you want we'll come in and we'll talk you through basically how to design a compelling exhibit and we also offer topic suggestions in, in local history. So.